Okay, how's it going guys? And welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Today, we're going to be starting Pokemon Floral Tempest EX. So, uh, yeah, it is a completed fan game. If you would like to play it yourself, link will be down below. With that being said, let's just get into it. Choose a game mode. There's a Nuzlocke mode available, but I think we'll just stick to normal. Welcome to the world of Realtra. This is Pokemon Floral Tempest. Hello? Ah yes, looks like we got a connection. My name is Professor Abbott, the owner of Greenleaf Orphanage. You may not realize it, but you're on your way to Greenleaf Orphanage right now. This is a Pokemon called Meryl. Here at Greenleaf Orphanage, we have a multitude of different Pokemon to play with. When you get older, you'll be able to have one of your own and be able to go on a grand adventure around the region of Rialtra. In this world, there are also very strong trainers that strive for the highest achievement of champion. They use these very Pokemon to perform amazing feats. When you finally get to Greenleaf, you'll be able to enjoy... Ah... Uh... Hello? Looks like the call is breaking up. Let's hurry this up. I need to get your information, since you'll be a new resident in our orphanage. Oh. I like the I like the uh, the designs. All right, Mark. Looks like I got everything. You should be arriving at the orphanage soon. I hope you can accept this orphanage as your new home and make new friends here. I look forward to seeing you grow up and one day become an exemplary trainer. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon await. I hope to see you in person one day, Mark. Hello? Who is this? Seems like people don't know what on the dot means anymore. Why is he taking so long? I skipped two important meetings for this. If this is how every meeting is going to be, I'm going to stop showing up. Period. Being punctual is essential in jobs like this. I do not have the time to stand here and wait for you like someone's boltund. Some things came up with Vig... Is it Vigor? Some things came up with the Vigor deal. I had to attend to them. Whatever. Anyway, explain Vigor's situation and what's been going on with your research. Vigor wants to start getting more serious with his testing. So he's been asking for more merchandise. Yes. You've told me about this before. Is Vigor going to continue being an anchor for this much longer? You were talking about letting him go. When was this going to happen? Soon. His knowledge on the mythical Pokemon is unrivaled. Until I get what I need, I'll stay working with him. He and I have an agreement, and one he knows he can't break. Good. While helpful, Vigor is a plague. His name will only drag our business into the ground. I agree. Did you visit the lab I had made for you? Did you find it to your liking? It was fine, but we need more. More spread out as well. We're going to aim for something great. We need more resources for that to happen. 
We already have two being built. One on Izora, one on Izora Island, and another in Marigold City. I'll put my name on it so that we have full control over the land. It's also secluded and hard to enter. That way, no civilians wander in by accident. Everything is set up to begin, to begin whatever plans you have for them. Is there anything else? I'm trying to be quick here. Give me exclusivity into your building. Because we're partners now. I don't want others to see a man like yourself working with a group like the one we're making. With keys to the building, I'll be able to enter from a back door, and you won't have to worry about your image to the public. Rest assured, I will honor your privacy, as our contract states. You've been a very good business partner over these past few months. Ever since your inclusion, our revenue has increased through the roof at a record rate. Hmm. I'll think about it and give you a call. Please give it good thought. I want to continue working and pursuing our goals further. I like someone who knows how to be discreet, and it seems that you know how to upkeep that ideology. Don't worry, V. I don't plan on stopping our work together anytime soon. Neither do Beep. Again, I'll repeat. Faye, Dell, and Mark. Please report outside at this moment. Thank you. Click. Okay. Awesome. Uh, we have an empty bag. A Pokegear with a map. It's a nice looking region. A jukebox. We have our trainer card. So there's 12 badges available. And there's a level cap. Interesting. Okay. The first one is level 18. Got it. We have the save button. Great. Um, default movement. We'll switch that to running. Alright, cool. Do I get a free potion? Oh, I get two free potions! Wait, that's amazing. Your favorite show seems to be on right now. Oh, really? Mark's Journal. Today is the big day. Finally leaving the orphanage. Can't wait to see what Rialtra has in store for me. Now is not the time to lift weights. Yeah. I was gonna get Mark right now. They're probably still asleep, just like you were. Mark, you're up. The professor told us we needed to be up early. Remember? You guys slept in. I don't know about you guys, but I got some decent sleep. I'm still thinking of going back. Go, and I'll just take your Pokemon for myself. I don't think the professor would mind that idea either. All right, all right, relax. It was a joke. It better be. Anyway, we should head outside. The professor's been waiting for quite a while now. I can't wait to see who my first partner's gonna be. I hope I get something cool, like a Dratini or something. That would be so cool. Come on, Mark, let's head outside. Okay, uh, I'm gonna look around first.
Dell's computer is still on. Snoop? Uh, yes. You go through Dell's search history to find... Nothing. Great. Locked. Locked. And locked. It looks like today's your lucky day. I'll give you a parting gift. It's something I've held on to for a while now, but I think it'll be more useful to you. Ooh, a soothe bell. Very cool. Man, I didn't get to show you guys my cool rock collection. Well, that's unfortunate. Mark, I hope you come back to play with us sometime. Yay, Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff is here to play. I remember when you used to run around the halls with Faye and Del. Oh, I'm gonna miss you three so much. Professor's room. It's locked. I summon the power of the holy beast. Go, Psyduck. You spatial rend. Come on, Psyduck. You're supposed to show your almighty power to Mark before they leave. Welp, Psyduck can't harness his almighty power today. That means you have to come back next time to see. You will, right? Of course I will. Bye, Mark. Catch an Arceus and bring it back home. Oh yeah, sure, that's gonna happen. I should probably get started on making breakfast for the little children. Porridge sucks. Wow. I want cake. The food here is phenomenal. Every day, we have a different meal. It's healthy, and it adds variety. Makes me glad to be an orphan. I can't wait to see what we're going to eat today. Please try not to track mud on the rugs. It's very hard to clean. I'm planning to adopt a kid. It's going to be hard, but I want to be a parent. I feel like children these days need helpful and caring adults around them much more. The world is a dangerous place. Yo, Mark. Remember me? It's Mark. Wait, you don't remember me? We used to play Smash Bros. all the time together. Well, not all the time. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I ever played against you. You want to run some games right now? Oh wait, yeah, you're leaving. Guess we'll never get to play. Seems like this orphanage is fairly new. How long have you lived here? Most orphanages have been around for ages, but this one was built 15 years ago. That's what I meant by fairly new. I'm so excited to get a new kid. I wonder what they're like, what they like to eat, what they like to do, what their favorite game is, what their favorite snack is. I'm just so excited, man. I actually came here to adopt a child with my husband. You can see how excited he is. Yeah, I can tell. I heard you can adopt Pokemon here. Wonder if they have a Chimchar. All this paperwork just to adopt a Pokemon. I saw a cute Jigglypuff playing with some children the other day. I feel like it would be cruel if anyone were to split them up or split them apart. I want a Pokemon who can share my and Machoke's athletic drive. Really? Okay. Judging by just the look of this place alone, it looks like a very relaxing environment for children. I hope the caretakers are doing their best to raise great children. Specifically, 
candidates to take over my business. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. The grand reopening is... I hope you all have an eventful adventure around Rialtra. Wait, what? Uh, okay. I heard they let you adopt Pokemon here. Seems like a good opportunity to find a partner to travel the region with. Alrighty then. Looks like everyone's here. It's been an amazing 15 years, hasn't it? It's gonna be sad, not being able to see you guys all the time. The house is gonna be lonely without our big kids anymore. Ah, Professor, you're gonna make me cry. I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels this way. The other kids woke up really early to see you all off. Please come back to see us. Make sure you guys keep yourself safe. Wait, guys, I'm actually tearing up. This is so sad. Yeah, we're not gonna get to enjoy the housemaid's cooking anymore. Don't cry, you three. You have to be strong, for all of us. Professor, you're crying too. How could I not? This is a big deal. Professor, you were crying before they came out here. Yes, you're right. We should... We should move on to more important matters. Alright guys, let's leave the grown-ups to their discussion. Bye you guys. Bye. We'll miss all of you. Alright, so now to the juicy stuff. I can't wait. I have five... I've received five Pokemon from a close friend of mine that I'm going to hand out to you three. Five choices in all will make it much easier to choose from, and you'll be able to always end up with a top three choice. That's pretty cool. That's amazing. We're going to move over to my lab soon enough, but before we go, I'll give you this. Oh, a Pokedex. Awesome. Oh, a Pokedex. I saw these on TV once. Yep. While you guys are out exploring the world on your journey, you can gather some information for me on some of the Pokemon in this region. Now that you guys have a Pokedex, I want you three to meet me at my lab in... Helianthus Town. I'm sure you guys would want to meet your new partners as soon as possible. Of course we do. About time. I suggest you three hurry, o hurry on over then. I don't know about you guys, but I'm freaking hyped. I hope he has something badass. Still hoping for that Dratini, or even a Larvitar. Only way to find out is to go, right? Way ahead of you. Hey Dell, wait up. Mark, you better hurry up, or you'll get left behind. Alright. I heard there was a secret passageway among these trees. Never actually seen it, though. Wait, really? I threw my baseball through the shed window, but it's locked. The professor said that I had to forget about it now. Wait, what? There's a sign on the door that reads, Keep Out. Door's locked. Hmm. Interesting. Where did it go? Oh. I've seemed to dropped my glasses around here. I need some assistance finding them. Can you help me? No. Great. They should be around here somewhere. An item finder sure would be useful. Hmm. Do you live in this orphanage? It's magnificent, isn't it? This is the biggest orphanage in the region right now. Which is funny, because it's the only orphanage right now. There was one before this one, 
There was one before this one got built, but it was taken down. All the kids and staff that lived in that one moved to this new one with some extras. Carry us, Agron. Agron, Agron, carry me next. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. A destiny knot. Agron is going to miss you kids a lot. Make sure you say farewell to him. Farewell, Agron. I'll miss you. Okay, let's move on. Oh, I found the black glasses. Awesome. Oh, looks like you found them. You can keep them, though. I don't need them anymore. Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, it's fine with me. Lots of shady activity have been going on in this area. Watch who you talk with, son. You never know who's a criminal hiding among us. Hey, you were a part of that group of orphans that helped out at the Helianthus Festival last year, right? Wait, you mean that wasn't you? Huh, did I get confused? Move along. We're conducting a police search in this area. Are you finally leaving the orphanage today? Good luck to you in your journey. Good luck to you and your friends on your journey. I don't want to leave all my friends. Lots of people leave every day to see if they can find any, any of the missing children who are disappearing lately. Wait, what? They come back with no, with no one found every day, and it brings the whole mood of the town down. It's really hard to stay happy around here. Oh wow, that's uh, that's pretty serious. We're thinking about skipping town. The police in this town aren't very competent. I don't want my child getting kidnapped. Fair enough. Hello? Hey, you. Yeah, you. You trying to get your hands on some Pokemon? Managed to nab some high-class Pokemon here. You trying to get in? Yeah. I see your eyes lighting up. You aren't afraid of doing something a little underhanded, aren't you? Take a look. See what you like. Okay, choose a Pokemon. Oh, wow. Okay, what do we got? Grookey. Are these the Gen 8 starters? They are. Score Bunny and Sobble. Yeah, alright, awesome. Wow. Um, I think, I think I'm gonna go Score Bunny. Yeah, we're gonna go Score Bunny here. Fantastic. You like that one? It looks kind of feisty. Now let's start working on getting that payment. Oh, you thought this was free? Run them pockets. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, uh, well, I guess it is free. Wow, that guy's fast. I need a breather. All right, I'm good. Did you manage to catch that fella's name? Anyway, it looks like you got something important there. Guessing he stole them from somewhere, right? That's not a good look. Look, it's your first day out of the orphanage, so I'll let you hold on to that. When the time comes, you'll probably have to return it. Until then, take good care of that. Oh, and by the way, the next time you see that creep, let us know. 
We should probably start an investigation on those Pokemon he stole, but, uh... This town has already been through enough. And we're doing what we can to rectify the problem. Name's Aiden, by the way. Officer Aiden. Hope we'll be able to count on you down the road. Locked. Is there a hidden item here, maybe? No. I'm the roaming rapper, yo. I'm gonna spit flame like a potato. What? The world around me is free to go. I'll put you to sleep like a yo-yo. I'm just trying to make a penny, yo. Make sure you keep make sure you keep your Pokemon close to you. Lots of thugs use this town as a place to run from the cops. Most of the families that have that had their children abducted have already left town. It's sad seeing a town that was once filled with festivities and excitement dwindle down to a small town with no personality. Wow, did you see that dude run? This town went for this town went from brimming with excitement and energy to becoming a gloomy place with no activity. It sucks. I moved here with my sister when we heard this town was filled or was full of festivities and good vibes. That's obviously not the case anymore. I do have children, but they don't live here. I moved them to Paonia City with their grandma once I heard about all the kidnappings. I might move back as well. I remember when this town had festivals really often. Now, ever since the kidnapping cases, lots of people left this town and now it's become a shell of its former self. Man, no one here wants to battle. That and the gym is closed. How am I supposed to get my battler pin with the campers? I'm gone. Not much people live in this city anymore, which removes the purpose for a gym. Once the cases settle down and things go back to normal, I'll put up an inquiry with the Elite Four to return. But for now, this gym is closed. R. Wow. Despite all the negativity, I've come to find this town fair. Back in Sinnoh, everything was so hectic. I really needed the change of pace. Some advice, kid. Don't think about becoming the best. Ever. It'll only lead to heartbreak. Take it from me. Oh man, dude. What happened? The professor of this town is known very well around Rialtra. He's not very kn he's not very known around the world, however. Come on, Mark. We're waiting for you. Or we're waiting on you. What took you so long? Let's go in already. What? Professor Abbott? Are you okay? D 
Did something happen? How? How did this happen? Assistant. Professor, is everything okay? I could have sworn that I said to lock this place up. Uh, I, you see, I gave you one specific task and you couldn't even manage that? Sir, you see, some stuff came up. I don't want to hear your, ex your sorry excuses. I had the Pokeballs here set up so that these three can choose their Pokemon, but now they're gone. Now what am I supposed to do? Sir, we could always go and catch more. Do you not know how rare? You know what? Get out. I don't have the time to deal with this. Sir, out. That is unfortunate. Well, looks like the unfortunate has happened. I had managed to obtain three very rare Pokemon for you three to choose from, but it looks like they've been stolen. Well, that's okay. We could just go out and catch your own on Route 8. No, 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 no. That won't be necessary. I don't want you guys to have to go and worry your... Wait, Mark, where did you get that Pokeball? Mark, a Pokeball? Wait, you do have one. How? Whoa. Oh. My. God. It's so cute. Holy. That's cool. You got this from that weird thug outside. I just hard avoided him. So did I. If I had known. If I'd known he was still in town, I would have done something. No matter. Looks like everything has worked out for us. I still have the other two I picked up from the orphanage, so I'll allow you two, Faye and Del, to pick from them. From five choices to two. Actually, Del, I do have more Pokemon for you to choose from, but they're fairly common Pokemon. I have them because I was running some tests on them, but I'll let you choose from them if you so please. I'll have an assistant out here later. If you want to switch the Pokemon you already have, and use use one of those instead, talk to him. So technically, still five choices, albeit not the same five. I guess it's not that bad. At this point, I just want any Pokemon at all. Good to keep your spirits up, Faye. Before we head to my back room, I'll give you guys another small gift from the scientist here. 20 Pokeballs! Wow. Thank you. Oh, Pokeballs. Thanks, science nerds. I would go on Route A and give you all a demonstration, but I know you all have seen how they work on TV. I'm sure the three of you are smart enough to understand how to use them. And one more thing before you all go. I'd like you all to visit the Lilium Ranch. It's to the east of Route A, and I have some old friends that'll be willing to help you on your journey. Be sure to be sure to mention that I sent you. No problem, Professor. Can we get our Pokemon now? Yes, Del. It's now time for you to receive your Pokemon. Follow me to my back room. Your new friends are waiting to meet their trainers. Did you guys see how angry the professor got? I've never seen him get that mad. Before. He got like that once before, when one of the other kids broke, broke his wife's special vase. That I can understand, considering his wife and all. But over some Pokemon? Maybe they were important to him. He did say they were rare. I guess. But isn't it cooler to speculate that maybe the professor has a super dark... Faye, I don't really want to hear your fan fictions again. Spare me, please. But it could be real. Think about the storylines. Oh, God. 
Mark, I'm gonna go grab my Pokemon. Make sure you train up your new friend well. I want to challenge you to a battle. I'll catch something new once I head out as well. That way, the battle will feel more like a real official battle. See ya. Okay, sounds good. I'm not going to trade my score bunny, but I would like to see what their what the options are. If you want to switch out your Pokémon, just take any of the new ones and leave the one you have behind. Choose wisely. Once you take one, you won't be able to choose another. Also, once you enter Route A, you'll no longer have the option to change Pokémon. These Pokémon are being researched by the professor because this region seems to have a potential in unlocking untapped potential in Pokémon here. Between you and me, though, these Pokémon look much weaker than the one you got there. However, it is your pick. Okay, interesting. Poplio? Oh, not Poplio. Salandite. Okay. So we have Salandite, Cubchu, and Natu. Very interesting trio. Hmm. There has to be a purpose to why these three were chosen, right? Maybe they have custom Mega Evolutions? Maybe, I don't know. I think we'll stick with my... I'll stick with a Score Bunny, though. Just because I really want to use a Score Bunny. Locked. Okay. Jeez. I really don't know what those cops expected us to do. Like... Do they want us to leave our post to chase one thief? I swear, some people just don't think nowadays. Hey, you're one of the kids from the orphanage. I've seen you around with the professor. I hope your journey leads you to new discoveries. Good luck. Oh, thanks. A shady-looking dude came running by me earlier. Then two cops came in and yelled at me for not doing my job. I don't get it. My job is to guard, not chase hooligans. Fair enough. All right, here we are, Route A. Free potion. Apparently, you can find Bunnelby in this route. I'm trying to catch one for my baby sister. She loves their big ears. Okay. I wouldn't mind using a Bunnelby, but only if it got the ability huge power. That would be the only way I would use one. Oh, a friend ball. Oh, nice. My centred is so cute. I wouldn't mind getting a centred either, honestly. I am not going to catch a Caterpie, though. This is the Rattata's power. Route A, North, Lilium City, South, Helianthus Town, East, Lilium Ranch. Okay, we gotta go this way then. Another Caterpie. I'm not gonna... Actually, should I use a... Hmm. Hmm. Rethinking it, Butterfree wouldn't be the worst thing, at least like early game. I actually wouldn't mind using a Butterfree. Maybe I do catch Caterpie. Nidoran. This thing has poison point, doesn't it? Yep, poison point, dude. I actually might lose. That is three. The poison does two. That's five. 
No, we should be able to win this. Maybe? Yeah, okay. A little scary, a little scary, but we got through it. We learned Ember. Awesome. Oh, there's another Mon! Okay, it's a Grass type. Please knock it out. Let's go! Good job, Score Bunny. That was a close one. I don't have an antidote. Are you headed to Lilium City? Uh, no. I'm headed to Lilium Ranch, I think. Lulu. If this has Fluffy, we should be good. Nice. Quick attack, awesome. Dove. Finish it. There we go. Whoops. Okay, so I went to go heal, and I also caught a Caterpie, which is pretty good. Like, this Caterpie I caught has boosted speed and lowered attack, and it also has perfect IVs in speed and special attack, which is kind of nice. So, uh, yeah, anyway. I'm probably going to swap that out front so we can do a little bit of switch training. On the way to catch so many Pokemon... I'm not leaving the ranch until I've caught everything. Really. Good luck. Hope you enjoy your time at the ranch. There are so many Pokemon you can catch at the ranch. It's amazing. After I do some ranger work, I like to come and hang out and help out at the ranch. It's kind of relaxing. Well, here we are. Lilium Ranch. Bring Pokeballs. Fair enough. Watch your step there, Gray. Make sure you keep the X086 from breaking off its... Oh. If my memory serves me right, you must be Mark. So glad we finally get to meet one of the professor's orphans. Name's Leona, or Leo, if you want. I don't mind what you call me. The professor called ahead of time and told us you were coming. This here is my best friend, Gray. We run this ranch together. The professor called about three, right? Were they not together? Give them time. They're probably off exploring. Hmm. Almost forgot this is their first time seeing past Helianthus Town. I see you and your Pokemon are having a lot of fun on your first day out. Sorry we were in the middle of something. So, do you mind waiting? Let's get Tauros back in. So, welcome to Lilium Ranch. This farm here supplies products to all towns and cities in Rialtra. Thanks to Leona here, I was able to up the efficiency and output of this ranch by tenfold, thanks to her technology. Gray, that was supposed to be a surprise. A surprise? It's not every day you come to a ranch full of technology. But like Grace said, I was able to implement some really nice upgrades to make this ranch ten times more efficient. And the best thing is that it's a hundred percent safe for the Pokemon. Take a look around. You might find a Pokemon you like here. Be careful around our equipment though. We rely on it to keep status updates on our Pokemon. Gonna go and check the monitors. I'll let you know when anything comes up. Alright then, Leona. The professor insisted I give out something to help the orphans on their journey. So I'll be out here for a little bit. Oh, that sounds nice. Nice meeting you, Mark. Hope you enjoy your time here. Very sweet gal Leona is. Used to run this ranch all by my lonesome. 
and nearly shut the whole operation down. I was getting too old to run this place on my own. Then Leona and then Leona showed up on Then Leona showed up one day and insisted I let her try her upgrades on the ranch before I closed it. I said, "Eh, why not? One last effort has never hurt anyone." Now look at this place. Brings a tear to my eye just gazing at it. Still don't know why she came here or still don't know why she where she came from. But every day I think whatever higher power that brought this girl here. I've been rambling for a while. Why don't you come by our house? I got something you might like you might like a lot. Okay, sounds good. Probably do a little bit of exploration before that. Potion. This is the storage room. This is where we keep all kinds of farming tools. Oh, it's locked. I always come to the ranch to relax after a long hike. You have an Ekans. It's a little scary because it can poison me. Please don't poison me. No. Okay, we're good. It's a little scary, but we're good. Not even half. That is... Oh, dude. Poison is the worst. Especially since I don't have an antidote, I have to go all the way back to town to heal up. Please be something weak to fire. Oh, nice. Weak to fire. There we go. Good job, score bunny. Great battle. Can't find anything good here. You can't use the swim... Swim fins? Huh. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I need to go back and heal. Okay, so I was gonna go back and heal, but I, uh, I looked at my bag and realized I actually had an antidote, so I don't have to go back. Which is very useful. Thank you. Okay. That saved me about... Saved me a couple minutes of having to back travel all the way to heal up. I got so many cute Pokemon from this ranch. Petalil. Wove it. Oh, good burn. You should be able to win this fight. I hope. That was fun. Learned Harden. Nice. All right. A few more levels and we'll have a, uh, a Butterfree.
Tauros is busy using the machine. You leave Tauros alone. You're a Pokemon trainer. Then we have to battle. Oh, a Dawdler. Don't confuse me. Okay, well. Metapod. That's free. I need to spread out the XP. It might take a while, but... Metapod is going to get this XP. Come on, Metapod. One more, I hope. Nice. You cheated. I did? Why was that a question? Cottony. I couldn't get away. There we go. Oh my god. We got an adamant mint? Wait, what? Wait, that's amazing. Hold on. I think Score Bunny, you know, when it's fully evolved, I think it is more of a physical attacker. So I think we definitely want to use this, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and give this to uh let's give this to our Score Bunny. Yes. Awesome. Fantastic. Alright, cool. That was such a good find. The flowers here are so magnificent. Cherubi. If only you had a bug attack. Let's see if you can fight this Cherubi with just tackle. And it's like, it's gonna take like what, five hits? Come on, Metapod. Morning Sun. Okay. Plan failed. There's no way you're going to take it out if it has Morning Sun. That's just not happening. Gossifler. If you don't wake up this turn, I have to switch. I have to switch. Oh wait, Shed Skin! Huge! Good job, Metapod. You shine with your Pokémon so well. Thank you. Is there a hidden item here? Probably not, but I'm gonna check anyway. Yeah, of course there's not. 
locked. Locked. So, the professor told me about your journey beforehand, and I thought of the best gift to give you and your friends for your journey. Oh my god! You're just giving me an Eevee. Thank you. That's awesome. There you go. An Eevee. Straight raised here in the ranch. Eevees are really Eevees are really rare in Realtra, so take good care of that one. You should go and see Leona. I'm sure she might have some thingamajig or something for your Pokedex. I will. Wait, is he healing my team? Oh, cool. Okay. So we have an Eevee now. That's pretty cool. Has boosted speed, lowered defense. Okay. Hmm. Wait, it has adaptability! Oh my god, this Eevee's amazing. I love it already. So with boosted speed, we probably want to make it something that an evolution has like naturally good speed, right? Like a Jolteon or something? Hmm, we'll see. Hello? Glad you could make it, Mark. This computer here is just a monitor. All of my most prized possessions are inside of the other house outside. Right now, I'm worried about the Tauros we were moving. It's suffering from a Pokemon-related illness, and the current medicine we have on hand isn't enough. I've already tried all the medicine in Lilium City. You don't have to go get anything from me per se. What I want is for you to ask the shopkeeper if they could ship in some medicine from Sinnoh. There's a very strong medicine in the Sinnoh region, but the only way we can get it over here is by shipping it to a local Pokemart. So just ask the shopkeeper to import the special medicine from Sinnoh for me. I'll give you a nifty little tool if you do this small task for me. Oh, cool, we got our first quest. Awesome. Okay, I accept. Hero. Please outspeed. Thank you. Do you know you can find a pump kaboo in this grass? I didn't. Don't really know if I want to use a pump kaboo though, so. Oh, a rare candy! Let's go! Huge find. All right, so it looks like we're done at the ranch. So now we need to head north to uh, Lilium City. A beginner like you won't ever beat me. Wow. We'll see about that. You have a Zigzagoon, and you're calling me the beginner. Okay, sand attack, that's just not necessary. You really didn't have to do that. And you're growling at me. Okay, this is just not fair.
Wait, I actually lost? Hello? Now we got a love ball. Hmm. Trainer. It turns out I was about to step into the devil's clutches. I fought, and I fought, and I stopped myself from turning to evil. Have this, trainer. TM93 Eerie Impulse. Stay strong, trainer. Do not turn to evil. Uh, okay. I'll think about it. It's a really big tree. A creepy old man hangs out in that house over there. I wouldn't go in there if I was you. Oh, uh, I kind of already did. Two citrus berries. Mine. I always come back to visit the ranch because I like a lot of the Pokemon that live there. I want to catch a Pumpkaboo, but I heard they're super rare. There was one region I was in that would sell items in route gates like these. I wish this region did it as well. It was really convenient in case you left a city or town and forgot to buy items. You look like a new traveler. Here, take this. A Poke doll. Thank you. Lilium City. Lately, kidnappers have been popping up a lot. The gym leader of the city thought it would be smart to keep guards at the entrances and exits of the city. That is smart. Can I go over here? No. Locked. Locked. Mark. Oh, you have a Ralts? Oh, that's pretty cool. I finally caught up to you. Do you see my Pokemon? It's Ralts. I was so happy when I saw it with the professor. I've always wanted a Ralts ever since the professor taught us about it in class. I've also trained it up, trained it up a bit, and caught a new partner before I got here. Which means I'm ready to take you on. I'll heal you up so we can have a fair battle. Oh, thank you. It's going to be our first battle against each other. Show me what you got, Mark. All right, here we go. Our first rival battle. Cottony. Okay, okay. Metapod, can you take down this Cottony? You're taking eight damage already, so the answer's probably no. Uh, go get him, Score Bunny. You're gonna stun Spore me? Oh, that is just rude. I can't believe it. Two turns. Oh, good burn. That was a huge burn. Double kick? Don't mind if I do. Uh, let's get rid of tackle. Here comes the Ralts. Oh, come on. If we get it to the red, I don't mind switching... I was paralyzed. Four out of five turns. No, four out of six turns, dude. That is so unlucky. I'm just gonna knock it out. I didn't want to risk it. We got so unlucky with the paralysis. Whoa. Mark, that was so fun. Ralts was so cool. But your score bunny was on fire. 
It was so fast. Ralts had a tough time keeping up. You and your Pokemon have a lot of potential, Mark. You look like a natural. The way you were commanding your Pokemon looked like those pro trainers we saw on TV. Since you've adapted or adopted their style so well, you'll have no trouble taking on gym leaders and such. Here, an ability capsule. Awesome. Can that get hidden abilities? Hmm. The professor gave Del and I some items to help us out, and he gave us some extras to hand out to you. He gave me two ability capsules and gave Del two ability patches. Oh, okay, no. The patch is probably for the hidden ability and the capsules are probably just for normal abilities. Remind Dell to give you the other ability patch he has. He'll probably let it slip his mind, like he usually does. I'm gonna go explore the city. If you see me, hit me up. I'll always be down to chat. Okay, well, on that note, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode off here. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Floral Tempest EX. Peace out.